Hello friends, uh, welcome again and uh, this is my new project employee management system and I have developed this project in uh, Java Spring Boot and uh, for backend I have used the Java Spring Boot microservices and for frontend I have used Angular also for uh, ID for development environment I have used the STS Spring tool suits and the Angular version is <laughs> I am using Angular version 11 and for database i'm using the mysql right on the spring boot site i have used gpa uh, hibernate as well as uh, some of the entity manager means native based query for getting the data from the database right so we have used gpa uh, hibernate and entity manager queries native based queries right so these are all things i have used on uh, gpa on uh, spring boot site right so this is a headless project means i have uh, developed front end separately in the angular and api the microservices i had developed in spring boot and that is running on the uh, sts right so if you have the eclipse then you can also configure and run this project right so let me go through the basic overview of the project right so you can see this is the uh, spring boot tool suits it it the look and feel of this uh, id is uh, similar to eclipse id so this is the structure that right? you can see these are all are the packages and these all are the classes right so i have used different types of classes these are the classes right and for running this project what you have to do just import the project and after that just hit the run button and after that this project will start running if you get any issue then you it will be logged here right so you can see it's running and for database i'm using the mysql which i have configured inside the application.properties file so here you can get you can see this is the uh, database name right also this is the uh, angular application right so here i am running the angular you can see this is i am running on the port 42 so just open this uh, folder and cli means say uh, in command line and after that after running the npm install just run the and this sir uh, and after that you will uh, that application will start running and you can access the page using the localhost column 4200 because the default port of the anglo application is 4200 you can see it's compiling and it's compiled successfully and after that you will get this page so you can see this is the page right so the angular and the uh, you can say the spring boot microservices is communicating through the api system so i have developed different apis for performing set of uh, for performing different types of operations like employee cloud applications or the cloud application and salary cloud application right so let me go through uh, to the application so this is the bootstrap theme so user id is amit and amit that read gmail.com and password is test if you enter the invalid then it you will not be able to log in <coughs> right so if you log inside the system then this is the dashboard this is the uh, internal admin pages here you can see these are the menu items right so let me go through one by one this is the employee report all of the employee report is employee data is coming from the database if you click on the edit then you will be able to edit the records right so this is the submit if you submit it you need to fill the right here right submit right so it will be saved and you will get the data here right if you want to delete any part just hit the click delete button it will be deleted right if you add the new employee then you need to fill this whole form and this whole form i have created using the react not react uh, native form right and uh, if you click on the submit then this all form are validated you will not be able to submit without filling all of the details right so this is the add employee part this is a re employee report here you can see a leaves report right here you can see all of the leaves if you want to edit the leaves then just click on the edit button right and after that that leave will be open right if you want to add any leaves just uh, open the add leaves and you will be able to add the leaves of the employee right so this is basically a crud application which all of the api uh, i have developed in spring boot microservices and all of the form design i have done uh, in angular and the angular if we submit any forms then the data is saving into the database using the api system this is the salary report here you can see all of the salary report is coming if you want to edit anything just click on the edit you will be able to edit the record so you can see this is the record even 
so if you want to delete just click the delete and it will be deleted <laughs> right so you can see the page is not getting refreshed because it's a, it's a single page application because in angular or react you can develop a single page application all things will be done by ajax right and so you can edit it and you can submit it also this is that salary and from here you can add the simple salary <laughs> right logout once you click on the logout so there is a session and if you don't log in then you will not be able to access the internal pages right so once you click on the logout then session will be destroyed and you will be redact to the login page you can see if you log in again then this is the login page right so here you can log out from here also this is the logout button right so these all functionalities i have developed inside this project and as i told you earlier this is a spring boot uh, <coughs> java spring boot uh, microservices angular and mysql based project and i have developed a basic operation basic projects uh, and which is performing uh, only the CRUD application create, create, update, and delete operations. This is my first project, uh, which I have developed in Java Spring Boot. So, if you need more functionality in this project, or if you have a specific requirements, if you, and if you want project in Spring Boot, Angular, and MySQL, then just ping me or text me on WhatsApp. I will develop all of the projects according to your requirements. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for getting the latest projects, videos on the latest technologies. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.